fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains, of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness. And these stories have come down to us through the generations. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Huddles waiting for us near the railroad. We've got to hurry. I will settle there. Away! Dan Jagger and Rod Cummings crouched behind a boulder not far from the railroad tracks. Uh, that choo-choo should be coming soon. No matter when it comes, we got time to wait. Yeah, only the Redskins might get tired of waiting. Yeah. It'd be bad if they did get tired and leave here. Train would still run into the logs on the track and be wrecked. Yeah, but without the Redskins, there'd be no one to kill off the passengers. They'd make it hard for us. Lots of those passengers will have guns. Shucks. Even if they got guns, they won't know much about handling them. <laughs> Pack of Easterners. All the same, Rod, I'd sooner let the Redskins wipe out what folks are on the train. Oh, sure, that's the best way, I grant you that, Dan. Only as I says before, if the Redskins get tired of waiting, and we have to handle the thing alone, well, I'm still for going through with it. Well, who isn't? All right, then. <laughs> I'm just glad you feel that way. The folding money that's on that train's enough to put me and you on top of the world for the rest of our lives. I just hope we haven't been misinformed as to what's on that train. Mm, I get the story pretty straight. Is there really cannon for the army troops? We? Oui, that's what I heard. If there isn't, we're going to have trouble making peace with Red Crow and his tribe. There'll be cannon. Red Crow's counting heavy on getting cannon and gunpowder so as he can make an attack on that army post. <laughs> <laughs> Reckon it was downright smart, wasn't it, huh? Selling Red Crow that idea. You did it, Rod? Me and none else told Red Crow that when the train was smashed against those logs on the tracks, <laughs> all he had to do was go through it and clean out the survivors and take the cannon for himself. <laughs> and that leaves the cash that's on board for us. Rod, you hear it? I hear it. She's coming. Be here in no time now. Look, I can see the train coming. See her way off there in the east? Yeah. Where's Red Crow? Where's him and his men? They're on hand. Look just west of that clump of woods there. You see him? Yeah, horses all set for mount. Uh, there comes the old train. It won't be long now. <laughs> 
On board the train, a young lieutenant and his bride watched the rolling prairie slide past the window and thrilled to the grandeur of the West. Oh, Mary, I wouldn't want anything better than to be sure that we could live in country like this for the whole of our married life. It is beautiful, Jack. I wonder, though. You wonder? Stories we've heard about the West, hardships that must be faced, savage Indians, cruel outlaws. And... <laughs> oh, nonsense, darling. That's mostly talk. I can't believe the West is as bad as they say. Well, we'll find out at any rate. I'm sure I haven't made a mistake in bringing you here, dear. I'll be with the Army for just one year more, and then we'll take over a small ranch, buy some livestock, and be a part of the West. Listen to me! Jack, look! Well, that man is masked. Yes, right right alongside the train. Oh, Jack, he might be one of the outlaws we've read about. Come on, sing what a me. splendid horse. I never saw a finer one. You, on the train. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Tell the engineer to stop that train. Stop that train. Change your head. What does he mean? Stop the train. That's what he's yelling. Why should we have this train stopped? There's danger ahead. You must stop that train. Hurry. You'll be too late. Jack, he wants to rob the train. That's it. He wants us to stop so we can rob it. Well, he'll be pulled. Look. Look, he's losing ground. Oh, oh, there's the answer to the West, civilization. You see, Mary, as fine as that horse is, it's no match for steam power. You must stop. We must stop. That's what he says. Must stop so we can be robbed by a masked man. Well, this is once that a Western outlaw has been fooled. <laughs> Mary, Mary. Oh, speak to me, Mary. Speak to me. Can you use a gun? Oh, yes, of course I can. I'm a soldier. Oh, my wife, she's hurt. Take this. In into the pile of logs on the tracks. There's storm on the train. Here, get behind these broken seats. Use them as a barricade. We've got to fight it out. Indians. Oh, those dirty Indians. There's one of them done for. How many of them are there? I don't know. Get all you can. Here's extra ammunition. There's hundreds of them. They have rifles. I don't know where they got them. Pour red right at them. Redskins are doing the work for us. When they finish fighting the train, folks, and unload them cannons and vamoose, then we can push in and unload the cash. Right. Slick, eh? Slick is a word. Just goes to show what good planning will accomplish. The dirty killers. Maybe they'll get us, but they'll pay for it. That window, quick! That's for you, Redskin! Oh, I'm here, partner. You... you fight it out to the finish. Yeah, I'll fight it out. I'll fight him till I... Stop firing! You, you're the one who tried to stop the train. Stop firing. As long as you're shooting, the Indians will keep coming. Play possum. Got to the floor. Play dead. I'm going to get all I can of the... I said get down. You're playing into their hands. Nothing of the sort. Be still and stay where you are. But how Use are your we... head. There are over a hundred Indians. You can't fight them all. They'll keep coming. Quiet now. There's one looking in the window. I can drop him with a shot. There'll be another to take his place. Be still and see what happens. Quiet now. You see? He went away. Now they're satisfied that there's no use wasting any more of their ammunition. It makes my blood boil to think what they've done. I want to get all of them I can. What's more important to you? Would you sooner get four or five more savages before you're killed and to get out of this alive with... with that girl? Mary. Oh, she's unconscious. You... I'm all right, Jack. Masked man's advice is good. Do what he says. Oh, Mary. Forget that you're a soldier for a few minutes. Our lives are more important than the death of a few more Indians. If you come through this alive, soldier, you can lead battles against many Indians. You can do much more. What are the Indians doing now? I'm following your suggestion, stranger, but tell me. What are the Indians doing now? Won't they come through for... for scalps? Not these savages. They have a more important reason for stopping this train. What's that? They're after the cannon that's on board. The cannon that was sent here for the army. Cannon? How do they know about the cannon? What can they do with the cannon? The Indians have learned a lot about white man's weapons. They want Fort Galloway for their own stronghold. Fort Galloway? That's where I was going. I gathered that from what you said. If they get the field pieces, they'll be able to take the fort. They're unloading the field pieces right now. Well, then we better At the present up. time, there isn't a thing we can do about it. I've seen the engine and some of the other cars. 
I think we are the only survivors. Is, is there any chance for us to come through this alive? My friend is outside. He's an Indian. What's that? A friendly Indian. He has my horse as well as his own. Each of those horses can carry two people. You let us know as soon as it's safe for us to leave this wreck. I smell smoke. Fire. They set the train on fire. I'm going to the window. I've got to see. Be careful. Don't expose yourself. When they have the cannons. One of those dirty... Quiet. Oh, those savages. Look, those killers. Look at them. Look at them taking our cannon with them. Now there won't be a chance for Fort Galloway to survive. The Indians were almost a match for that detachment before. With cannon with... Jack. I'm sorry, Mary, but I can't... worrying about things that can't be helped. There's Tonto. Come now this way. We're going to get out through the smashed windows. Don't worry about the Indians. They're leaving with their cannons. You'd better hurry. Fire's reached this car. You come. Come on, out that window and hurry. Here, I'll help you. I can make it. I can jump to the ground. Careful now. <clears throat> White fella, him crook. What's that, Tonto? That car. That's where crook go. What's he talking about? Tonto means there must have been someone who incited those Indians. Stay here. I'm going into the next car. <laughs> Jack and Mary hurried from the car to safety. The Lone Ranger dashed through the flames at one end of the coach. Dan and Rod were already at work in the freight car. The flames were licking hungrily at a number of kegs near them, but the outlaws were only interested in the contents of the strong box they had forced open. Hurry it up, Dan, and get the cash stuffed into your shirt. Yeah, I am. Pick up the butters, we'll get off this car before the flames get too bad. Not so fast. Who's that? Fast man. Throw that money off the side of the car and be fast about it. You're not interfering with us, mister. This was our scheme. We're making the most of it. I said throw that cash out. For the bank at Red Rock. It's for us now. We'll show you. That's it, Rod. Swing around. Let me get a crack at him. That's it. While the Lone Ranger struggled with the outlaws, the fire crept nearer and nearer to the kegs. A blow from behind fell with stunning force on the masked man's head. Oh! That's it. Good work, Dan. That'll do for him. Now shove him out of our way. Yeah. Oh, he goes. We haven't the time to stow the cash on us. Toss it out. We'll pack it later. Throw it out of the car. Uh, get that bundle. I will. There's another bundle. Get that one. The fire's getting fierce in here. we got to get out now. Rod! Rod, those kegs! The fire! That's gunpowder! Gunpowder! Jump! Jump for it! Sparks and flames and scattered wood shot in all directions from the blast. Tonto raced toward the unconscious form of the masked man on the ground where the outlaws had thrown him. Mary and Jack were close behind the Indian. He's alive, isn't he? Ah, uh, him live. We get him on horse. You get on horse, we get way. If he hadn't been thrown from the car. Tonto. Ah, me here. You come, Tonto, help. Isn't there something I can do? You put cash in saddlebag. Me put mask friend on horse. Hey, let me help you, Indian. You help get cash. Here, Jack, put this in the saddlebags. We're still alive, thanks to the masked men and the Indian. Do what they ask. We can't go far wrong following their advice. Right you are, Mary. You get on scout. Him carry both. Up with you, Mary. All right, Jack. You sure you can manage that big fellow alone, Indian? Uh -uh. Get him up, Silver. You come, Scout. Scout, get up. Hello. I'm all right. Uh -uh. You got bad bump. One of the others, that young couple, the soldier. I'm right behind. You turn, you see him. They're all right, then? Uh -huh. there, there was an explosion, wasn't there? That's right. What are the outlaws? I'm gone now. I'm not get knocked off car. Were they in that car when the blast came? I'm not hey, right. Hey, mister, mister, man. Yes? What can be done about the Indians, the fort? They've got the cannon now. I know it. I'm afraid they'll be able to use those weapons. But what about the gunpowder? The fact that the Indians have already raided several towns and stolen the supply of gunpowder, the thing that set us out on the trail that brought us here. You suspected they were after the cannon? Yes. There wasn't any way we could stop them. But they'll be able to capture Fort Galloway, the fort where I'm going. That soldier is the thing we've got to try and prevent. If those savages can get control of Fort Galloway... They will control this part of the country and nothing will stop them. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. The Lone Ranger, Jack and Mary made camp some distance from the railroad while Tonto rode back to the scene of the wreck. Well, we'll wait here a while longer. Tonto should be here soon. Mister, we're obliged for your help, but I've got to get on. You're tired, worn out from that experience. Mister, the fort's got to be warned. If those Indians have cannon and surprise the garrison, it'll be a massacre. Jack's right, mess man. I'll get a horse. You're and... staying here. Don't be a fool. We could never head off those Indians. Not now. Yeah, mister, but I... You're staying. If you head toward the fort, you'll end up without your scalp. Oh, oh yes, yes, I reckon you're right, but something's got to be done. We'll wait. We'll have to figure out some plan. Find out how the Indians are besieging the fort. Unless we learn that, we haven't a chance. Jack, the masked man's right. Don't go. All right, mister. I reckon I'd jump the traces a little. You got something in mind? I wish I had. But so far, I... Hi! What's that? It's Tonto. Hi! Ancient partner. He's coming slowly, leading another horse. Why, it looks as if he's got a man with him. He has. A man slung across the saddle. Tonto, that's one of the outlaws. Ah, oh, him hurt plenty bad. Me bring him. Jack, spread that blanket. Easy with him, Tonto. Oh, poor man. Here you are, mass man. Set him down. Oh, me find him near wreck. Oh. Him not live long. Oh. Relax. Lie back. We'll see if we can oh, help you. No, mister, it's no use. Like the engine says, I'm... I'm cashing in my chips. But maybe I can... I can still help make amends. You, you'll have to figure a good scheme to lick the engines. But I'll tell you all I know. Jagger almost redeemed himself before he died, didn't he, Jack? Yes, Mary. He's getting a decent burial, too. The masked man and the Indians see into that. Here they come now. Well, we're ready to travel now, Rogers. You think what Jagger said will help us? It's got to. You know the location of the gunpowder he told us about? Jagger described it so well I could go there blindfolded. It's near Dry Gulch. Head for the town there, Rogers, and return the cash to the bank. Get a wagon and bring that gunpowder as fast as you can to us. Here? Tonto and I'll be near Fort Galloway. We'll take a look around. I have something to go by when you bring the powder. We'll bring it, mister. No, no, you're not coming back. Rogers, you leave her in the town. But, mister, Please. I Please, you'll be facing dangers. You've already had enough. You'll see to it, Rogers? I will. All right, then. You take Dan's horse. You can ride double. Amiga, scout, silver. Mass man. Yes? There's just one point. I'll bring the powder, all right, but how can I be certain I won't run smack into those Indians instead of you and Tano? We'll be watching for you, Rogers. We'll see you first. You can be sure of that. Here, Silver. <laughs> Adios. Bring the powder as fast as you can. You can count on me, masked man. Come on, Mary. Goodbye, masked man. Take care of Jack. Adios. Adios. All right, Tonto. Time for us to get moving. Uh -huh. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. Follow me, Kimosabe. We're heading for Fort Galloway. Hiyo, Silver! Hoi! <laughs> It's the fort. Pull up, Tonto. It looks bad, Kimosabe. Ah, uh, plenty of cannon. Yes, the cannon the Indians took from the wrecked train. Look, they're firing one now. Uh, missed the fort completely, Tonto. The Indians still haven't figured out how to use those cannon accurately. That's right. But it won't take them long. And when they do... Uh, they smash fort to bits, huh? Yes, Kimosabe. Notice how the Indians have the fort completely surrounded. And they have many cannon. What matter in fort? Why'd they not fire back, huh? You're forgetting, Tonto. The fort hasn't any powder to waste. The supply must be very low even now. Mm, that's plenty bad. See where the Indians have got their gunpowder? Uh -huh. Back under those trees, and they've got plenty of it. Tonto, by this time tomorrow, that stockade will be smashed flat. And we can't do a thing until Rogers gets here with that wagon. Blackest pitch. I never saw a darker night. Mass man said he'd find me first, but for all I know, I may run right into those Indians. Come on, horses. Get up there. Get up. <coughs> what the police? Quiet, Rogers. Pull up your horses. Yes, man, it's you. You brought the powder. Well, you sure gave me a start. You jumped right into the wagon. Where is that powder, Rogers? Oh, yeah. Well, mister, all I got is one keg. One keg? That's not near enough for the fort. It's all there was. Zagger said there was plenty. Yeah, but the rest got moisture soaked. Only this keg was worth taking. One keg of powder. Well, it'll have to do. Is the fort still holding out? So far, but by tomorrow morning, the Indians will start attacking again. Mister, you got to do something. You've got yes, to. Yes, yes, but what? With all that gunpowder the Indians have, this one barrel won't... Yeah? You were saying? 
Rogers, I think I have a plan. It's a desperate one, but it might work. It's got to. Tonto. Uh, yeah. Tonto, help me ease this cane to the ground. Me, me do it. Uh, that's it. Uh, Mister, what are you aiming to do? Rogers, you're getting through to the fort. What? It can be done without too much difficulty. All you have to do is go through the ravine Jagger described. It leads right to the stockade. It's dark. What chance is there of finding the ravine? It's right over to your left, about 15 feet. Uh, now, this way. I'll be right back, Tonto. Uh. Stop. You're at the edge. Yeah, I can feel the ground dropping away. Tonto, I would go in your place, Rogers, but... Oh, say, I don't mind. I'm not afraid. I never thought that. It's only that we're better plainsmen than you are. There'd be less chance of rousing the Indians. I'll make it to the fort, mister. You'll have to, Rogers, because Tonto and I have another job to do, and we've got to do it before dawn. What job? There isn't time to talk now, but we've got to be certain the commander of the fort is ready to do his part. When you get through, have them wave a torch from the top of the stockade. Yeah? When Tonto and I see that, we'll know it's time to do our part. That's heavy, mass man. I'm ready to start. What should I tell the commander? came up the ravine. We heard him rapping on the stockade and hauled him in. Says he's got a message for you, sir. Hmm. All right, Corporal, I'll take over. Back to your post. Yes, sir. Well, mister, your name? Lieutenant Rogers, sir. I was coming out from Amarillo when those savages wrecked our train and took the cannon. Cannon, eh? Huh? That's where they got them. Yes, sir. I have a message for the captain. A message? Yes, sir. I just left two men outside beyond the Indian encampment. An Indian and another who told me to tell you he's the Lone Ranger. What? A man on a white horse called Silver? He wears a mask? Is he really the Lone Ranger, sir? Yes, yes, he must be. Then we still have a chance to beat these Indians. Quick, Rogers, what's his message? You seem to have a lot of faith in him, sir. It's just him and the Indians. Oh, he's accomplished the impossible before. Speak up, man. Very well, Captain. I'm to tell you to be ready to attack at dawn. Attack? That's what the Lone Ranger told me. Attack at dawn. That's all? Don't you know what he plans to do? There wasn't time for it, sir. He said we should wave a torch from the stockade to let him know you'd got my message. Attack at dawn against that horde of Indians? Why, all we have are rifles and sidearms. They have cannon. Yes, sir. Oh, it's suicide. It's murder. But still, as it's the Lone Ranger who gave you that message, why then, we will attack at dawn. Come on, we'll light that torch right now. <laughs> Not see torch yet, Kimasabi. Maybe Rogers, him get caught by Tonto. Look, there it is. Ah. The torch, they got the message. Now it's time for us to move. And what we do? We're blowing up that supply of gunpowder the Indians have. Huh? It's our only chance, Kimosabe. Without gunpowder, the Indians can't use those cannon. And the soldiers might beat them. We blow them up now? Just at dawn, Kimosabe. No. At dawn, it lighten up our brave to see us. We never get out alive. That's what we're using this keg for, Tonto. Me not savvy. We'll go into the Indian camp now while it's dark. We'll carry this keg and lay a train of gunpowder right up to the Indian supply. Uh -huh. Just at dawn, we'll set fire to the gunpowder. we sprinkle it along the ground. The fire will run along the gunpowder until it hits the store the Indians have piled up. Count us, Abby, now. That good. We not take horses. No, Kimosabe, we go on foot. We've got to make sure we're not heard, even while we're in the middle of the Indian camp. Now help me get this keg open, Tonto. We'll start pouring the gunpowder right here. Silently through the woods, the Lone Ranger and Tonto spilled a thin stream of powder behind them. With every soft step, they drew closer and closer to the Indian camp. Wait, Tonto. You hear it? Ah, uh, it's Indian guard. You'll have to take care of him. Follow me. Not a sound. No. Oh. That good. You get him. We'll have to hurry, Kimosabe, before he recovers consciousness and spreads the alarm. This way, we're going into the Indian camp. Softly they advanced, their crouched bodies blending into the darkness that comes before the dawn. Past sleeping savages, past hobbled Indian horses, straight into the heart of the camp, until finally... That's right. The keg goes right here, Tonto. We, we set train of gunpowder. Right into the center of the Indian supply. 
You know, Kimo Sabi, we better get out again without spreading the alarm. If we do that safely, the soldiers can attack and win. But if we fail, mm -hmm. time to know. Captain, it's just about dawn. Yes, Rogers. The Indians are waking up. They'll get ready for the dawn attack soon. We're going to attack them first. Sir, you mean that we... Yes, I do. We're going through with it. But there's no sign that the masked man's carried out his plan, whatever it was. The Indians may have captured yeah, them. We'll they... have to risk that. Open the stockade gates. Mount your horses. All ready, sir. All ready. Bugle in. Sound the charge. All right. Oh. All right, then. All right, then. behind them. It's going straight towards their gunpowder. He blew up their gunpowder. Look at those Indians. They're in a panic. They're running. Don't shoot. All you firemen, take them captive. They're throwing down their guns. We've got them. We've got them. We captured the warriors without firing a single shot. Yes, sir. Round them up, men. So that was the Lone Ranger's plan. He blew up the Indians' gunpowder just at the right moment. The fort is saved, and the Lone Ranger did it. Captain, that means... That means the Lone Ranger got away. The Indians didn't get him. Why, of course they didn't, Lieutenant. Look, there he goes. He and the Indian both. Look. Gentlemen, just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.